Today I'm here at the Botanical Garden, this beautiful garden, just sitting out here pondering the question or a couple of questions. The question of the day is, are you married to your mistake? Now, when I say are you married to your mistake, I'm not necessarily speaking about a person, but that can definitely be the case. There are a lot of people that have indeed married the wrong person. But when I ask, are you married to your mistake? I'm more so talking about commitments. Are you committed to wrong decisions that you've made? Are you committed to the wrong job? Are you committed to the wrong relationship? Anything that you've gotten into, your, you've gotten yourself into decisions that you made that you know aren't really working out. They're not really serving you. You're not happy. They're stealing your peace, your joy, your finances, right? But sometimes as, <coughs> excuse me, as human beings, we know that we've made a mistake, but we stay committed to that mistake. And I'm not really sure why we do that, right? But sometimes, you know, you take the wrong job and you're miserable. You hate getting up in the morning, but instead of quitting that job, looking for a new job, moving on, we stay there. We can do that with relationships too. We know that we're involved with the wrong person, right? We're dating the wrong person, we're miserable. The relationship is toxic, but we stay and we try to make it work. We try to force it to work knowing that we're not with the right person. You know, and sometimes I think when we do that with relationships and we end up marrying the wrong person and then what happens, you know, when you want to finally bring an end to it, people come with the quote, you know, especially for us Christians, they'll say, you know, what God has brought together, let no man put asunder, right? Mean, you know, but knowing, here's the thing, you know, you know, God was nowhere in that when you two got together, you know that that is not the person that God wanted you to date. You knew it, you felt it, right? I think a lot of times when we make decisions, God always gives us a sign. He gives us a warning. You have a feeling in your gut that it's the wrong decision. You know, that's not the job for you. You know, it's not time for you to move. You know, that's not the person you should be entering a business with or starting a business with, right? Whatever it is. But sometimes we just, <coughs> excuse me, we just continue on with it. And I don't know whether we do that because we don't want to admit that we made a mistake. We don't want to start over. We don't want to lose the time or money that we've invested in. And so we just continue to kind of like struggle along. But what happens when you do that, when you delay severing the ties that God is calling you to sever, right? We're wasting time. And then what happens when you waste time? Now we go back and we ask God to redeem the time lost, wasted and stolen. So I'm just here to ponder the question, are you married to your mistake? Do you know that there's something that you're currently involved in, a house that you bought, you know, a city that you moved to, a relationship that you're in, a job that you've taken? It could be anything, right? A lot of times we just don't want to admit that we've made a mistake. We don't want to lose our investment. But really, when you think about it, if you just cut your ties, you can regain your joy. You can fix your finances, but when we stay committed to the wrong relationship, the wrong job, we're just wasting time and prolonging the agony. And now we're not allowing God to make room and bring the blessing that he has for us in his life. So anyway, I just wanted to ponder that question today. Are you married to your mistake? You know, I think maybe there are times where we've all been guilty of it. We know that we needed to end something and we just kept it going way longer than it needed to be. And like I said, then we have to pray and ask God to redeem the time. So think about it, family. I can't answer that for all of us, but you know, I know I'm definitely guilty of that. I definitely have stuck around, around longer than I should have. And, um, you know, we have to, when you know better, you do better. So that's a mistake that I pray, <coughs> excuse me, I never make again. When you know you've made the wrong mistake, Cut the cord, cut the tie, cut your losses, move on, and ask God to course correct your life, redeem the time, and then walk in the blessings and the benefits that he has for you. Have a great day, family. Bye.